I started teaching when I was 21, 22 years old. I wanted to teach for a, a long period of my life. It, it's really like the, the dream profession. My dad was a professor at Marquette University. He has a very engaging style. And I remember the power of that storytelling in the classroom and the lesson I just thought was really cool. I wanted to provide students that opportunity to to connect with them, to support them, especially early on. I remember being really nervous to do things incorrectly and getting things wrong was embarrassing. So I found a little bit of a perfectionist in me. I remember getting a reflection from a student who was just really honest, like appreciated the class, but gave me feedback that I needed to connect with students more. And I, I, it kind of stuck with me. In my first year at Waukesha South, Avid was implementing the Abbott elective for the first time. I didn't know all the pieces that would make me the teacher that I wanted to be, but Avid seemed to have a number of those pieces to support me becoming the educator that I hoped to one day be. Once I moved into the Avid role, started learning how important it was to make those connections and build relationships and really truly look out for students and celebrate their assets, I started to see how that could benefit the classroom. I, I just totally rethought what education is and what it can be. And I feel like I've learned to be more empathic. The thing that excites me the most about the AVID approach is the celebration of each individual human being for everything they bring into school every day. AVID certainly helped me better understand the value of celebrating students for who they are um, and honestly, like who they aren't at times. Through my involvement with AVID, I think I've learned a lot about myself. We're all incomplete human beings and we all have a lot to learn and we have a lot to teach each other. The quiet 14 year old in class who doesn't say much has a ton to teach me about being a human being. Uh, this is not in the script, sorry. Uh, can we start this the only the way the South Side can? Jake, Dream Team member, not yet, is going to lead us in a power clap. Uh, he'll shout something, count to three, and anyone who wants to, after three, not on three, will join us in a power clap. One clap, we only have one chance here. Opportunity of a lifetime, Jake. Can we get a power clap? Dream team. <laughs> Listen, the only thing that matters right now is this moment, or maybe it was that moment. Um, around five or six years into my teaching career, I was hoping to find an end of the year project that was memorable, that meant something to students and something to me. Somehow I stumbled upon 29 beautiful things. The original idea was 100 things people liked, to find beauty in the world, but 100 is a lot and the world is infinite. So somehow I stumbled further upon 29 things, things that students loved about their experience at South High School, our wonderfully diverse and proud school. I introduced the project to my calculus classes first. The first year I got so many questions. What does it look like? How should it be done? An avid go-to, question everything. They questioned why 29, why South High? Why can't I do 29 beautiful things I like about Wisconsin, the world? 29 pizza toppings, 29 beautiful kitchen appliances. So I instituted my first rule, rule number one, there are no rules. I just wanted creativity, passion, love. What do kids love? And that's what I got, 29 flowers, 29 beautiful words in different languages, 29 emails from the principal that made them laugh, 29 ways that Jordan is better than LeBron. Uh, maybe it actually was the other way around, sorry about that Grayson. 29 adoptable dogs that Schreier should get. 29 things old people should do when I turn 30. Thanks for that one. <laughs> 29 adventures with friends. I got eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper and poster board, memory books, flip books, note cards, videos, Google Slides. I got pure, unique beauty. The only thing that matters right now is this moment. I went to my first AVID National Conference this year where a student at the alumni panel said just that. The only thing that matters right now is this moment, speaking to his avid classes focus on the present. 
and reflecting on my way home, I tried thinking about what it is about AVID. What do I love about AVID? As an administrator without a classroom of my own, what do I miss about AVID? And I miss the moments, the simplest moments, and the big moments too, the beauty of them all. So here it is. Here are 29 moments that I loved and love. Some big, some small, some once in a lifetime, some more common, some frustrating, some fun, broken down into four groups. The classroom, the dream team, relational capacity, and beyond AVID. Here goes. Number one, the one-on-one -on -one conversation outside the classroom, right outside the door, where, when a student needs their AVID teacher. The worst tutorial of all time, the historically bad one, the one that makes the teacher cry more than the students. <laughs> the perfectly imperfect tutorial, the frustration, the teamwork, the aha moment right before the class ends, the high fives and quickly packed binder, finishing the tutorial just as the bell rings. When you have to travel to your classroom and the students beat you there and start blaring music to sing and dance to. Having a class pet pig, not a real one, a dog toy, uh, who will forever be Phil the Pig. Class kickball on a fun Friday. The pressure of avid visitors coming into your classroom but knowing you can dive deep into WAG's content. A student picking you up a coffee on their release because they see you need it. <laughs> avid interviews, especially the eighth graders entering your school next year, dreaming of the young adults these littles will become. And number 10, a masterful Socratic seminar, when students leave a lesson and say, when can we do this again? In some world, I imagine there exists a me that works a desk job, quietly, maybe even contently, going about my day to day. Growing up, I was quiet in school. I hated getting things wrong and I was embarrassed easily. I understand the no eye contact with teacher game with the best of them and still employ it during professional development when the going gets tough. If I had to give a speech in my high school English class, I'd ask the teacher, now a high school avid teacher by the way, to go first so I could get it over with, knowing the stress of waiting later in the week would keep me up all night. But in this world, avid found me, not as a student, although I wish it had, but as an educator, allowing me to rethink how I taught, how I think, who I am, and what I think is possible. I've spent 10 years as a high school avid elective teacher and just completed my 15th year at Waukesha South High School. A now avid national demonstration school. With no question, a total dream team. Number 11, when you are questioning why you're in education, but you know you can text your fellow avid teachers. The belly laughs at AVID site team meetings, when everything seems to be falling apart but you know AVID is the right work. When your students come back and coach and teach at your school. 14, realizing that these moments are happening all across the world and that there are brilliant educators with rock star students creating powerful moments every day. I first came to Summer Institute with our team in 2012 and have spent many Summer Institutes growing more and more comfortable with the discomfort in education, learning to, hopefully, become a better and better avid educator. And year after year, the speakers have been the highlight. Even though as an introvert, public speaking means sweaty palms, shaky legs, and days of butterflies, there is something endearing, even lovely, about it. And I always hoped I'd get the chance to speak at Summer Institute. The hope of a celebration of being on a tremendous adventure. Number 15, senior speeches, a common final at South High that bring both laughter and tears. 16, alumni visits, the wisdom only a 19 or 20 year old can give. <laughs> Dipping out of your, your graduate class early to visit an avid graduate at their collegiate athletic event. Watching a student speak as the best man at his best friend and classmate's wedding. Getting breakfast with alumni over winter break. Seeing the son of one of your first AVID graduates playing junior blackshirt basketball, soon to be a South AVID star. Seeing a student speak as the maid of honor at her brother's wedding. The tears that come year after year from a brilliant AVID speaker. Abby and Christian, y'all nailed it. <laughs> 23, graduation day. 
Sometimes when I was teaching, I missed the most important moment, the one happening right now, or on a dreary Thursday in February in Wisconsin, the moment that means everything to the student right in front of you. And I've wondered what makes Abbott Avid, why an Avid class feels different, what makes an Avid teacher different, and ultimately, I think it's a lot. There are a lot of us, an infinite amount of things we bring every day, an infinite amount of traits, ideas, characteristics, strengths, not one of us the same, and thinking about that size is unmanageable. But I think Avid boils down to these moments, intentionally planned lessons, thoughtful opportunities to get to know each other, to struggle with each other, lessons and moments but with colleagues at PD and summer institutes, on van rides home and through text messages. Reflection during and after lessons on becoming better from everybody in the room, taking moments to dive in and taking moments to step back. But the totality of my Avid journey and that of an Avid class is a collection of carefully put together moments mixed with many wonderfully unpredictable and sometimes impossibly hard moments that provide each other a space to grow, learn, and push towards what we once deemed not possible. This section is going to be pretty hard. Uh, 24. When Roman Overa messages you in his first semester at college, after his Northwestern Wildcats beat your Wisconsin Badgers just to rub it in. <laughs> the 2 a.m. Mr. Schreier, oh my God, I got into college email. When the Avid class of 2021 senior gift is a scholarship for a South Avid graduate who inspires positivity and toughness. When Lakeisha Allen published the poetry book, Her Epiphanies, oh, don't worry, I can wait. Take out your phones, please, uh, and order it on Amazon right now. <laughs> Lakeisha Allen, Her Epiphanies. Oh, and while you're there, uh, pick up Tyree Pope's comic book series, Fair Fight Comics. With black intergalactic superheroes, that Tyree wrote to help reach kids who didn't see themselves enough in comic books. <laughs> Order that one too. In 29, when a first generation college bound student gets a full ride to their dream college and says, wait Schreier, are they playing with my feelings? <laughs> and because rule number one, there are no rules, Number 30, this moment right here. So my commitment and my call to action from an administrator who loves the purpose of our work and the mission and vision of our school, but admittedly misses the classroom. Enjoy the moments. The gravity of the work is heavy. Our journey at South High, our avid journey, has been filled with challenges, tragedies, broken moments for students, teachers, the school, and our community as a whole, often facing the uncertainty in the now. But there are so many beautiful moments. It was the purpose of the project, to find beauty in something. Enjoy the moments, the little ones, the big ones, the bad tutorials, the forgotten TRFs, the messy binders. The frustrating moments, the happy ones, the ordinary ones, and yes, the weird ones. These are the opportunities. Embrace them, all of them. Just as we embrace the infinite assets of the kids who enter our classrooms. Simply, I wish there were more bad times. And certainly, I wish there were more good ones too. A gentle reminder to never forget the adventure of looking at things from a distance. And if you're up to it, create your 29 beautiful things or have your students do it. And if they do, please send them my way because too many of the most beautiful moments are missed. Thank you. <laughs>